Hello everyone, I'm Jamie from The Game Chaps and this is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Now I've been playing a lot of this game recently and I'm sure you've seen plenty of handy tips and tricks videos on how to get through all these difficult challenges. But I'm here today to tell you that there are still loads more secrets to discover in this game. So without further ado, here are my top 5 tips nobody knows about Sekiro. Let's begin. Tip number 1. Don't buy items from the merchants. We all know that street vendors in real life like to mark up their prices to make exorbitant amounts of cash. And these merchants are absolutely no different. If you're patient enough, you'll unlock a shinobi skill later on in the game called Way of the Whisper, which allows you to haggle these merchants down to much more reasonable prices. Don't worry if you've missed this already though, you'll collect most items just from playing through the game, and you'll also most likely die repeatedly and lose all your money anyhow. Tip number two, just keep running. Now this may sound counterintuitive at first, and you might think that you're going to be missing out on the beautiful game world and all the content that From Software created. But if you hold down the sprint button when the game begins and follow this super secret hidden route, you can actually skip all of the bosses and complete the game in well under an hour, making it a viable strategy for speedrunners and newbies alike. Oh, damn! Tip number three, eavesdrop the same conversation over 15 times. I'm sure by now you understand the importance of the eavesdrop mechanic and how it gives hints about upcoming bosses or to the whereabouts of nearby hidden upgrades. But have you ever tried listening to a conversation over 15 times in a row? This won't actually unlock any extra dialogue options or additional content, but we all know that shinobis are supposed to be well sneaky, and it's super fun to be a bit of a gossip. I'm looking at you, Robin. Tip number four. Lady Butterfly dies of a heart attack. Shout out to Mike Pettit for this one. If you stand just outside the entrance for tricky boss fight Lady Butterfly and leave the game running for a whopping 48 in-game hours, you will hear her suffer an off-screen heart attack and die before the fight even begins, allowing you to sweep in for all the sweet rewards. While this may be totally ripping off the end boss fight from Metal Gear Solid 3, it's a touching nod to legendary game creator Hideo Kojima all the same. Nice one guys. You thieving bastards. And finally, tip number five. Just get good. I mean, that's the only tip really, isn't it? Just get good at the f***ing game. And there you have it. Five tips that nobody knows about Sekiro. If you learned something new today, please leave a like and let us know in the comments below. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media to see more of our gaming content. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.